Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. When we left off last time, I'd been, um, we were in the, the, the tavern and we talked to Denegir. He's convinced that a lot of all people is conspiring with the Imperials. I, I was kind of on Denegir's side at first when he said he's a loyal, uh, loyal to Skyrim kind of guy and he was put out of the way because the guy in charge now is more sympathetic to the Imperials. That seemed possible because the guy now is kind of scummy. But then when he turns around and says, go investigate Lod, I mean, Lod seemed like he was he went out of his way to talk about loyalty and Skyrim and the Nords and stuff. So I think Denegir might just be completely paranoid. But off screen, I decided to swing by my house, drop some stuff off. Um, when I came back, there was a dragon. So, what are you doing in these dragon bones? So we fought this dragon. Also, the, the trouble with doing things off screen like that, I, it, it's tedious for you to watch me to just run to Bree's home to drop stuff off, but then people in this game will just randomly engage you in conversation. Like, I'm not clicking on them, they've just got something to say. So someone spoke to me about joining the Dawn Guard. Apparently there's a vampire problem, and the Dawn Guard is set out to destroy the vampires. So it's a quest that I've got now in my quest log here. I'll check that out eventually, but first I want to finish up helping the citizens of Falkreath. And when I came back to Falkreath, one of the guards stopped me to ask if I'd seen a dog. And when I asked him, well, what would the dog look like? He says, I don't know, go talk to Lod. He says he saw a dog. So we are going to break into Lod's house to help out Denegir. But first, I think we're going to just talk right to Lod and ask him about this dog. I want to do the dog part first because I'm afraid that if I break into his house, then it might change my conversation options with him and, you know, possibly make it impossible to complete the dog quest. So let's see what he's got to say about that. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. Uh, the guard at the gate said something about a dog. the gate guards to look for him. Can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep you company. So you're just going to tame a wild dog you found? Or may I give you some fresh meat for crafting out on the road? I could be convinced. Um, nah, you don't even have to give me stuff. I'll just help out. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside the town. Will do. Find the dog. That, that's kind of a strange thing. I saw this really cool looking dog, so I want you to just go capture it for me. And I'll hope it'll be my pet. Okay. Okay, it says dog is over this way. I could go to the... No, we'll go through town, because he said it's just outside of town. Over here. If I, I was thinking I might fast travel over to that cabin and then come back, but... This might be the faster way. I gotta attract it with some I meat. The what does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the great here? Alright, here's the spot, huh? Let's put some meat here. You are exactly what I was looking for. Why are you talking to me? What do you mean you were looking for yeah. me? Just what I need. For what? You see, my name is Bobby, and I have a problem I think you can help sort out. Okay, um, what's your problem? And I had a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument, and it got rather heated. Okay. He kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. Okay. Let's go for it. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. So this is a Daedric quest. A cult that worships him at Hamar's shame. We should be able to talk to him there. If this works out, I'll make sure you're rewarded. And just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? Uh, okay. This dog is on the move. Clavicus file, huh? That seems a little surprising to me, because Falkreath, you know, it's kind of a small town as far as towns go, but two Daedric quests. When we did the Hercene one, now we've got Clavicus file. Daedric quests are, are worth it to do, and I will do any I come across. Um, generally, you get really good 
rewards from them. Uh, usually like enchanted weapons or armor or stuff. I mean, like that armor I got from the Hersing quest. I can't use it because it's light armor, but if I did use light armor, it would be pretty useful. So I do hopefully want to find one that will reward me with a mace and one that will reward me with a war axe. And I, I'm pretty sure that they do exist. I think that you can get pretty much any of them. Leave me alone. Oh, what's going on over here? I'm not going anywhere. Off before I do something drastic. She doesn't have the scar. Uh, what's going on here? Looks so good. Are you feeling all right? Oh, apparently I'm diseased. Hmm? What are you looking, looking for? for? Information about a woman, a foreigner in these lands. She's a red guard like us. We believe she may be hiding in White Run, but we're checking everywhere to be sure. Okay. Right, yeah, then. you guys talked to me before, or if not you guys, then some of your friends. Dang it! Now I lost the dog. All right, let's find him. Okay, let's go here. Oh, there it is. Where's... Oh, it's right here. That's not far. Yeah, we'll just head towards it. I don't know that we'd really gain by trying to fast travel anywhere. It might be even more difficult to get to if we do that. Anyhow, I could look up specifically which stage requests would give me the items that I want, but I don't really want to. I think I want to just go ahead and take things as they come. You know, do my best to just find it on my own as I explore the world. Okay, so this will be that fort that was on my map. I'm going to pass this. And I'm pretty sure there were some guys who attacked me there, just some bandits. I killed them. What is that? That looks like a werewolf, just out and about. Alright, we're not messing around with this thing. I suppose I could talk to it, but I don't want to take a chance. Sending? I killed him. What is going on here? Okay, I think it must be some kind of mistake that he's there. That's strange. Deer. I was hoping it was the dog. Alright, well that sending I can't interact with, so I'm pretty sure that's just some kind of glitch. Alright. Let's get my proper weapons back on, just in case. Are you the guy? You're just another red guard. Milk drinker like you doing out here. Go home to your mother. You don't talk to me like that. I'm a Nord and this is my home. What are you gonna do? Cry? I'll beat you senseless. I don't have to take that from you. Yes, you do. Bring it. I got pride. I'm not gonna take crap from some red guard. Yeah, call me a milk drinker. Take that. Take your moonstone. Steel cuffed boots. Are those? No, my boots are enchanted though, aren't they? I don't know that these are better, but we'll take a look. So, let's see. Yeah, mine have shock resistance, but an armor value of 21 and these steel cuffed. They are higher armor. Do I care about shock resistance? I don't think I do. I don't even wear these. I think I'm also going to... Oh, I can't. There's enemies nearby. I wanted to wait an hour to get a little 
auto save in in case I do something terrible and die. Okay. Are we close to where we need to be? Thought I saw something to the side. Apparently not. Alright, how close are we? Helgen? Why am I going to Helgen? I don't have anything else on, right? Let's make sure. Helgen. Okay, let's go to Helgen then. Alright, Barbus, where did you go? Okay, where is it telling me to go now? Way up here. How am I even going to get there? From this camp? I don't know. Oh, boy. This is a mess. I shouldn't have stopped to talk to those red guards. I should have just followed that dog. Hey, Mar shame. There we go. Oh, what's that horse? Do you belong to someone? Yeah. Alright, we'll leave it. No, we won't. We're taking this horse. It's Fadalfari the second. Although, I have to hop right off him to get in this cave. He's going to be gone when I come out, isn't he? I stole him for nothing. Oh well, let's see what we got in here. Weapons ready? There's somebody over there. Guess I was just hearing things. Vampires thrall. Alright, get ready to fight some vampires. Huh? You're just hearing things. Don't worry about it. Alright, let's run up and get him. <laughs> yeah, we'll take your fur armor. I suppose I could take that bow. It's only seven pounds. Worth fifty. Eh, we'll find plenty of loot, I'm sure. So, we can go to the side here. Let's see what's up these stairs, though. If anything. Hmm, looks promising. Yeah, I'll take all your arrows. Alright, moving along, Fandal. There's a Shrine's Clavicus file in here, huh? Are the vampires worshiping, worshiping at it? Is Clavicus Vile going to be angry that I'm going to clear out all the vampires on my way there? That's an obvious trap. Okay, don't... Don't step on that, Feindal. Maybe she will... Hey, come up here. It's a good idea. Nope, she's not falling for it. Oh, I wanted to use it against her. Oh, well. Vampire, vampire armor? That's incredible. Why is it a light armor? Vampire boot. Yeah, I'm taking all these. That's fantastic. Let's wait right quick. Get an auto save in case. Alright, I just want to see what this vampire armor looks like. I'm not going to put the boots on too, but... Oh, it's so much cooler than what I've got on. Oh. It doesn't protect nearly as well, though. Plus, I'll lose my bonus if I take off um, any heavy armor. I have to be wearing all heavy armor. Because I took that perk. Oh, there's nobody here. 
Don't even worry about it. Get her. I need to stop by uh, a shrine or a church or something next time I'm in town. Get rid of whatever disease I've got. What have I got? Um, not magic. Active effects. Ataxia and bone break fever. Oh, my stamina's drained. And picking locks and pockets is harder. Well, yeah, I should probably do something about that. Nice coffin. Well, I would feel bad for you, but you're an Imperial. So I suppose the vampires helped us out in that respect. Yeah, let's take all that stuff. I don't want to read the book. I want this soul gem. Yeah, I don't think any of those are worth reading. All right, moving along, Fendal. A little time to be sneaky. We're not being that sneaky, but... You know, I may as well take the opportunity to try and level up the skill a bit when I can. I'm not overly concerned about it. My goal isn't really to be a sneaky kind of killer, but there's times it can be very useful. I like the looks of this. What? Well, there's someone over here. Huh? Let's just yeah. get her. It's All right, there's her down. Let's go help Fandal. I think I lunged right past her. I was gonna hit her in the back. She had all kinds of good stuff on her. We'll leave the boots this time. Because there's going to be more to fight and we're getting full. Okay, where... There's someone else. Where are you? You're pathetic. You're pathetic. You're yelling at us and no one even knows where you are. Maybe down here? Yeah, there she is. What are you doing just standing here accomplishing nothing, you weirdo? Huh, I guess I should join the Dawn Guard. Pretty good at killing vampires. What else we got? Yeah, I'll have all of that. Thank you. The gourd can stay, I suppose. Tomato. Didn't I need an amulet of RK for somebody? I think I did. Or it might have been a different amulet. If RK, well, we're good then. We'll take it right to him. Is this where I need to go? There was... Let's go the other direction, just to see what's over here. Make sure nobody's hiding. Because if so, we might have to fight them later. It could be obnoxious. I don't know, this looks like a little room all its own. No, oh, this is going to be harder than it should be, because I'm diseased. Come on. There we go. 
Oops, oops, oops. Get back in there. Very nice of fatigue. This is gonna... Okay, let's drop some of these not that exciting armors I picked up. Where are they? That hide armor can go. Dang, gauntlets can probably go. Yeah. Oh, not, I didn't need to take the wine. Oh well. I'm trying to look at this bag. I don't care about Berenzaya. Ah, that's good. Let's get moving, Fandal. There we go. Okay. So, why is the the shrine hidden through here? All right, we got a nice solid arrow, so it's going to be close. Somewhere in this area. Past this spider. This isn't the way I came in, is it? No. Oh, overburdened by a soul gem. And this bone in these scales I forgot to drop off. Those are worth 80 apiece. Don't drop any of those. What do we want to do? I should probably drop some of these books. Although they're pretty decent to sell as well. Um, well, I don't need the fresh meat anymore. Three pounds? There. Take that. Now I suppose we'll be sneaky again. Is this it? What is going on over here? Did you look at that? Yeah, it's pretty cool, but there's something... Who are they fighting? Oh, Barbus! Get off that dog. He's our buddy. There we go. I want all of this vampire armor. Well, especially this one. We'll drop something else in exchange for it. Who? Is there someone still alive? Oh, apparently there is. I'll worry about that in a minute. Let's get back to apparel and drop some studded armor. You guys do your thing. I'm just going to loot these bodies. If it's enchanted, I feel like, you know, I've got to pick it up. It's worth more. I really need to sell all that stuff, too. I don't want to drop those. They're worth a lot. Even if they are heavy, this fur armor can go. Well, we'll activate that in just a second. Where'd you go? Ooh! 
Okay, so this must have been who was fighting up here. I'll get the vampire dust. May as well. What's in here? Better boots. Yeah, these are better than what I've got. So, where are those ones I just picked up? Where did they go? Steel cuffed, there they are. Yeah, we'll just drop them. It's still too much, so let's drop a potion. Alright, tell me about it, Barbus. Just activate the shrine? Alright. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. Huh? They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. I suppose that's a cure, in a way. So, what's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? No, your dog warned me about you. I'm just here to reunite you with Barbus. Oh, that insufferable pup! Forget it! Request denied! No deal! I'm glad to be rid of it. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Yeah? Sounds like maybe well, you wouldn't mind having him around. Perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. Alright, what do you want? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have Quite a bit of fun, indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached. No messy surprises. It's not for you. I don't know that I trust that. As I recall, it's resting in Brine Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. All right. You heard the man, Barbus. Yeah, what's the story behind the rueful axe? One of Clavicus's little chests. A wizard named Sebastian Lord had a daughter who worshipped her seed. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. So Vile gave him the axe. Gave him an axe. And it just killed her. Uh-huh. Alright. Well, where do we need to go? Out of here, that's for sure. Oh, I need to take my level up, too. Alright, let's jump through here. This is going to be the fast exit. And take a look at our map, see where we're going. Sliding down the side of the mountain. Okay, that was kind of a strange exit. So, where do you want us to go, Barbus? Uh, let's look at the quests. That's really far away from here. And it's not near really anything that I've opened up. Okay, this is going to be a lot of traveling off screen. Uh, let me go ahead and wind the episode down here. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. I'll meet you up there at Rhyme Rock Borough.